An article was recently published in the Public Library of Science, actually in April of 2012, talking about Tamiflu. That's a drug that's used to treat people who have influenza virus, uh, particularly those with swine flu. Uh, the World Health Organization and the CDC have endorsed this as an essential drug. It's been very expensive stockpiling the drug and billions of dollars have been spent doing so. Where's the data? That's the problem that people like Peter Doshi from the Johns Hopkins uh, Medical Center and also Tom Jefferson from the prestigious Cochrane uh, Review have made this statement in this article published in the Public Library of Science. There are conflicts of interest all over the place. How did it start out? First of all, our famous Donald Rumsfeld, who was uh, involved in the aspartame fiasco, that's NutraSweet, uh, bringing that forward, also brought forward fourth Tamiflu and of course he's made tons of money because he's involved directly uh, with the company that manufactures uh, Tamiflu. So what Tom Jefferson and Peter Doshi are talking about is this may well be something that could be useful but they'd like to see the data and review it and when the government is purchasing this drug and it's using it uh, in a stockpile form that's spending lots of money to do so this is something that the American public deserves to know about and yet the information is being withheld. So there's no clear evidence, according to these people, that, it preve that Tamiflu prevents pneumonia, and the data so far only shows it has shortens the course of the illness by a half a day to one day. Does it save lives? Well, doctors assume that it does, but again, don't you think we should have access to the data that says yes or no, that's, that's uh, important? And are there side effects to Tamiflu? You bet. How about a wide range of uh, gastrointestinal side effects that are something like uh, the flu can be. There's nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. A few people get hepatitis. Uh, there are anaphylactic reactions to it. Some people get hemorrhagic colitis from it. Uh, there are neurological symptoms and psychiatric symptoms that occur from it. There have been people, in, in particularly in Japan, that have had suicides that are occurring at a higher rate than they do in the general population. People even have hallucinations from it think it's a drug that you want to take? We've been convinced that it's what we need because that's what the CDC and the World Health Organization is all is recommending and yet we don't have the data. So we need to have a way that we are entitled to look at the information that's been done in research certainly uh, if we've paid for it ourselves because it's an NIH study, but even when private institutions are doing this research because we've made the assumption that this drug is very valuable and that it saves lives. And yet, we don't have the data, and if you don't have the data, you just don't know.